Glen area. Um, so that's where you saw the flooding and mudslides from the burn scar from the previous fires. And then out in the Coachella Valley, really desert hot springs, Palm Springs, and Cathedral uh, City got the brunt of it. We're still actually clearing mud and clearing debris, trying to get roadways open today. While lawmakers usually return to Sacramento Monday morning, Walton stayed an extra day and a half back home where he met with residents who were affected by the heavy rain. It was you know, really important to see firsthand some of the devastation that's happened to, although not the entire community, pockets of our communities, people are going to have to really... Uh, you know, uh, invest a lot in rebuilding and recovering down there. And so to be there firsthand and see that really gives me the ability to come up to Sacramento and make sure I can advocate for resources at the state level. Wallace says he's thankful for the work the Governor's Office of Emergency Services, or Cal OES, did to prepare for the tropical storm. We've made a lot of investments in early detection technology. And so we had a lot of education in terms of where the storm was going to hit so we could put people in the right places at the right time in order to do rescues. And so that's things like cameras and AI and analysis of weather data early. Brian Ferguson with Cal OES explains that over the next few days, crews will be working on assessing the damage to determine what kind of state and federal assistance is needed to help communities rebuild. We may not qualify for a federal disaster declaration, which is good because we mean we don't have that expected damage. However, we wanna put as much money back in the community as quickly as possible either through state or federal programs, and we'll evaluate that over the next 24 or 48 hours. As for what can be done to be even more prepared during future storms, Wallace says he'd like to see more infrastructure investments to help protect communities from severe weather. We need to make sure we're really investing um, the resources there so that that water doesn't